A couple of weeks ago, I built my own GPT-3 tool in under 60 seconds using niches. And that tool is now live on niches. It is called AppSumo Style App Descriptions. And if you haven't seen that video, essentially all you do is give a few parameters inside of niches. And what I wanted to do is come on to AppSumo and they have a very distinct style. They write their intros with a little bit of humor as well as taking a one line sentence and then expanding on it. So this summary sentence kind of tells you what the app actually does or the tool itself. And then they get into a little bit of playful humor. I also did this inside of Writer. And if I come in here to start writing, I have my own select custom use case app sumo product descriptions. And if I were to enter in the exact same thing into Writer, and we'll do three variants just so that we can kind of get some content. And we'll come to niches and we'll do the same thing. Now within niches, we have the product name, description, and then a project keyword. If I create this project, again, we're gonna be doing this app sumo style app descriptions. I have to give it the exact same parameters as I give writer, and then I click get text, and it's gonna give me three or four output variables. And the niches stuff to me is just, it just blows writer out of the way in this particular use case, because read some of these. Your website is your storefront, but that doesn't mean you can't go mobile. Just tell me if it's okay to skip a workout. So that's like that app sumo humor, right? Then you've got the mobile revolutions forever changed the way we shop, eat, and work, but very few companies have the resources to build an app. It's always something. You can hire a team, but you'll need a project manager. This, this could be written by app sumo themselves. Asking me to go to IKEA is like asking me to go to Las Vegas. Same here, your website's great. It's mobile friendly too, but if you're still reaching blah, blah, blah through clunky mobile apps, you're missing great opportunities. Thanks for the Uber. And yes, this pie is delicious. That's that app sumo, just off brand humor. I don't always get their jokes either. Like, let's see this one here. The developers keep calling me Ted Lasso. So like they've got that nice humor and niches replicates it absolutely flawlessly. Now, writer on the other hand, this is the writer output. They're not kind of grasping the same concept. And when I actually created the writer tool, I only had to give like one variable with one output. Whereas with niches, you have to give three variables or three product descriptions and then three outputs. And the niches took two weeks. The writer took like two days. And writer is still an absolutely amazing AI writer. But this is like not use, like this isn't really great. <laughs> I mean, this was what we gave it. And that's what it gave us. It's just not serviceable. And I've done this enough times that I can say it's not just limited to whatever this tool is. Inside of niches, if I come back into another app sumo deal, and let me copy this, and then we'll come to niches. And then if you actually add with, and then we'll say the product name, Brainwork, it will actually write the intro, including the product name, Brainwork. So that is quite incredible to me. Like here it is, ranking higher on Google and Bing's a lot easier when you write SEO friendly blog articles. I use Sriracha on a lot of things now, <laughs> but you don't need a degree in creative writing or loads of experience, blah, blah, blah. I bet you can guess why. You need an automated writing assistant. Say hello to Brian work. And I guess it misspelled it, but here it got it right. <laughs> so like you still have to proofread, obviously. Your digital presence is valuable gold. This is absolutely mind blowing to me. We were able to replicate this intro paragraph off of a single sentence using an AI GPT-3 tool. And whoever's writing these AppSumo things, you've now met your match because the AI can do it for you. So I would love to see a comment down below what kind of GPT-3 content, like is there a style that you would want to replicate? Like could you do this for a particular musician, like someone that's always doing the same type of hooks or intros or whatever it is, or could you do it for a particular fiction writer that they're always doing the same, you know, like I was reading uh, the Dexter series recently and they've always got that darkly dreaming Dexter, whatever that's called, that type of stuff, you could create and replicate styles using artificial intelligence and GPT-3. Hopefully this video has brought you some value. Hit the like button if it has. My name is Scott with AI Profits and we'll see you in the next one.